today we're going to talk about tenders. In order to be able to find something, find what you're looking for, you need to know what it looks like. It's like going into an op shop and looking for leather, second hand leather clothing for making moccasins. shooting pouches, all sorts of things. You have to recognise material that can be used for making shirts, leggings, coats. It's very often all there. But there's so much around you in an op shop, you tend to lose track of what it is you're looking for. So you've got to keep it up in your head and just remember what it is you're after. Well it's much the same for foraging. You need to know what something looks like. And sometimes these things come in different sizes and different colours. Now this is a piece of punk wood. Now people don't normally think of a piece of punk wood this big, but this is. You can see it's very light, easy to pick up. This is all punk wood. My wife found this in the base of a fallen tree. Normally when we're looking for punk wood we think about small pieces that we can break off from the base of a fallen tree. But this just goes to show how big it can be. Now this will last me for quite a while. Um, I mean I'm always looking for tinders when I'm out on the trail. But uh, if I were to use this, it's going to last me a long time. Now tinders are a plant material that catches a spark from flint and steel. This is the flint and steel that's used with a tinder box, the 18th century flint and steel. Now, some tinders will catch a spark as they are, and other tinders need treating. In the 18th century, some tinders were treated with potassium nitrate. Um, that's fine if you happen to live in town, but if you're out in the bush, there's no point in carrying those chemicals around with you. So, what you do is you char it. This is easily charred. You don't have to char the whole thing in one lump, obviously, when it's this big, but small pieces are easy enough charred. In fact, you can even put them into your tinder box untreated uncharred because when you use the tinder box to actually make fire these pieces will get charred in time and you can use them once they're charred in the tinder box but other than that we char it in the fire directly in the fire put it into your tinder box close the lid and smother it and from then on it can be used to make fire until it's used up But like I said, this is learning about what it looks like, okay, so you can recognise it when you're out bush. So there is probably the biggest chunk of punk wood that uh, I've ever laid my hands on, but it just shows how big it ten you, you can find it. And uh, we'll put that aside. 